Methamphetamine travels through the bloodstream to the nucleus accumbens, a central reward center for the brain. This is a release site for the neurotransmitter dopamine, the chemical key to human pleasure. Dopamine is a natural chemical that causes us to feel good. More dopamine means more pleasure. It's one of the ways the brain rewards behavior that helps us survive. Food and sex are two of the highest natural pleasures. In mice, they can trigger around 150 units of dopamine. But drugs trick the brain to go even further. Meth actually sneaks into the neurons and forces more dopamine out. One hit of meth may trigger more than 1,200 units of dopamine. That's a rush three and a half times more intense than cocaine and about six times what the body can do on its own. And the meth high lasts much longer than other drugs, up to 12 hours. But the higher the climb, the harder the fall. Scientists at the Oregon Health and Science University in Portland study the drug to understand its long-term effect on the brain and search for a way to stop the addiction. Among their subjects, mice on meth. In the lab, researchers teach mice that by pressing on a bar, they can get a dose of meth. Even for rodents, the meth triggers pleasure, so the mice quickly learn to seek the reward. So this mouse knows that by hitting that bar in the back... That's correct. He, get yes, a dose he originally of learned, that's right, he originally learned that if he would press that bar in the back, he would get a dose of methamphetamine. Then the meth is removed. Dr. Greg Mark explains what happens next. We basically turned off the little pump that gave him methamphetamine, and he slowly stopped taking the drug, and now things like this stressful situation will make him go back and look for that drug again, even though it's not going to give them anything. Um, and you can see he's very he interested goes. in that bar. Yep. He's very interested in that bar. Wow, look at look and at. there he goes again. Even when they succeed in getting a hold of meth, human addicts can feel just as trapped as the frantic mouse. They just keep chasing that first euphoric high, but it keeps getting harder and harder to find. In time, addicts can't experience pleasure at all, with or without the drug. Their brains won't let them. Studies reveal that meth actually damages the brain, perhaps forever. It's the body's way of fighting back against the drug that's pushing out dopamine. The brain shuts the overloaded neurons down. Meth users go from having too much dopamine to having too little.